Hello there. Hello everyone. Welcome. Are you... Are you listening to me? Is everything working properly? I... I really hope so. And this is the... Very first... Um, sort of soft-spoken... Live stream playing Hogwarts Legacy. Um, <laughs> what is going on? That's a new kind of. That's a new kind of candy. Uh, makes me fly. Okay. And I thought, you know, I'm gonna do things a bit different. I just shared with you today a gameplay. Where I get sorted into into Ravenclaw, so uh, you might you might be wondering what's going on. Why now I'm a I'm a girl and I'm at Hufflepuff. Well, I just want to make different gameplays for different styles of video, and so for the live stream, sort of very slow exploration. I chose the Hufflepuff uh, character. And honestly, also, I just couldn't wait to come and see the, the common room. Because, look at it. It looks absolutely beautiful and cozy. Hello there, Olivia. Is the game out already? Uh, it is out already for those with the Deluxe Edition Early Access. So yeah, I'm just slowly taking a look on all of the details here. This is just a dormitory. It's just the the bedroom here. And it's it has obviously such such hobbit vibes and I absolutely love that. So, um, welcome there, everyone, uh, to my live stream. <laughs> uh, hello, Dane. Hello, Neo. Hello, CB. Ren Muchi. I'm a Hufflepuff, and I'm loving this sneak peek. I've got it downloaded, but haven't played it. Oh, well, I hope I don't spoil you anything. But, yeah. <laughs> I think you're going to be very happy with what you're going to see, because um, it looks absolutely beautiful. Let's look down there. Okay. Uh, so all of these are dormitories. Okay, that makes sense. I love the I love that it made multiple dormitories. Not like in the movie where you only see one. There are multiple ones for all of the the students. Cuz obviously there's quite a few students. <laughs> uh They are slightly different but pretty much the same here. Okay. How, how is the quality, by the way? I think I see the quality dropping a bit here and there. But... Can you... Can you hear me? Is the volume okay? Or is the game too loud or something? I hope not. And... This one has a, a little sink for themselves. And I can see myself in the mirror. Wonderful. Lumos. I do a loom. Okay. Lumos, my favorite spell. 
And I like how the shadows react. I've adjusted the settings to use the the ray tracing on the PS5 and the lights and the reflections on everything just look incredible I have to say I think the game really looks beautiful and I hope the live stream is doing it justice because quality keeps dropping. I absolutely hate this and I don't know what to do. <laughs> uh, weird because today it says my live stream is excellent. It's not telling me, it's not giving me any war warnings with problems with the transmission so Graphics are stunning, yeah, I do agree. Sounds good to me. It's actually very good. And we can hear you. Okay. What is our fellow Rufflepuff doing here? Waiting? Waiting for a friend or something? Perhaps. So I'm just slowly exploring here because that's the main point of the this live stream style I think. And if you want me to look at anything, just let me know in the live chat. My father sends you one almost every week. I've heard that Isaac Cooper receives several owls a week from Secrets Admirers. I suppose he is rather dashing. It's always so exciting to see the owls come swooping into the great hall. My mother was shocked the first time I sent her an owl from Hogwarts. She never seen anything like it. She's a muggle, so of course that makes sense. Oh, don't make that face. My mother always responds to my owls very quickly. I'm just over over listening to gossip. Okay. Well. They have quite a bit of dialogue between the, the students, which I think it's very immersive. They really talk things that make sense, at least, you know. So they talk about classes, they talk about friends, and just general wizard witch stuff. So, yeah, and the ambient sounds. I... I feel like they did an amazing job, you know, <laughs> and I, I can say because I do ambience videos for a living, so, yeah, all of the details in the sound and everything are really, really good. So, as I was saying, I keep losing my, my focus sometimes, oh, this one has some, some tapestry, I like it, the centaur. Um, so as I say, I am exploring this, exploring very slowly, so they can have a good look. But this is actually the start of the game. I already played through a couple of hours with my Ravenclaw character. So I know we have quite a few missions to do here. I might try to do them with you. But... I'll just do everything very slow when I have to walk around so that you can enjoy in a more calm and relaxed way. I really hope this is going to turn out sort of asmr but I really don't know. So, but let's try it out, okay? And you give me any advice in what you think can be better. So, I think, let's get the stairs to go down. Just 
just having a good luck, uh, luck from up here. And let's go down then. Hello, fellow Ray uh, Hufflepuffs. <laughs> Hello, Yamie. Uh, it pays to explore. You find all kinds of little things. Yeah. What I've been founding most than anything, I it's... Some introductions are in order. Oh. What I've found most than anything is clothes. You find lots of little, you know, uh, hats or robes, all sort of things to wear, and they there you are. <laughs> they increase your your strength, your magic, or your defense, and that kind of stuff. It works kind of like armor, you know, in video games. So. Okay, so as you can see, there's like three people here I have to introduce myself to. But first of all, as I said, I'm just gonna explore a bit around here. I'm gonna eat an apple. Okay, a delicious apple. There's the fat fryer, the Hufflepuff ghost. And our friends here just sitting around That's awkwardly. Good, isn't it? The plants are very, very wiggly. <laughs> okay. What are you doing there, my friend? Are you talking to something invisible? What sort of witchcraft is this? I do not understand. As any game, it has some weird things here and there. <laughs> That's to be expected. You know, sometimes people talking with thin air or walking into walls, it happens. And I just absolutely broke something. I don't know how. I have very strong shoulders, apparently. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna stop talking to people so that you see how it works. Okay, so we're going to talk to Adeline. Oh, Uncle, this doesn't sound like you. Something's wrong. Oh, hello there. You're the new Hufflepuff, yes? I'm Adelaide. Pleasure to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Is everything all right? Oh yes. I'm just a bit distracted. Letter from my uncle. So tell me, I've been hearing all sorts of rumors. Were you really nearly gobbled up by a dragon? <laughs> okay, if you didn't see the start of the game, we did. We did get, um, almost killed by a dragon. That one is true. Not the typical start to a new school. That's dreadful. Well, I'm glad you made it here alive. Well, anyway, I imagine you have lots to do. I hope you have a wonderful first day. Um, thank you. I... should I ask about her uncle? Is your uncle alright? Are you sure everything is alright with your uncle? Oh, yes. He travels for work, always busy. I'm sure he just wrote it in a rush. Um, nothing to worry about. Okay then, so... Um, nice meeting you. Thank you, Adelaide. Be seeing you. Of course. And good luck. The Hufflepuff come room. Whoa, yes, Lillian. Whoa. I absolutely love the, the Hufflepuff common room so far. I've only seen, I didn't see the, the Gryffindor common room yet. I've only seen the Ravenclaw one. And I'm exploring this one right now. I haven't seen it before. So it's new to me. Uh-huh. This is way more chill than knocking stuff over for Kenny Beans. <laughs> yes. Okay, so I have a spell called Revealio here. Someone just just reminded me. Yay me, so let me show you that. It's kind of a like a sixth sense. 
to find important things. And the only thing I see are those blue things over there, do you see it? But nothing too special about those. There's all sorts of little things which you can interact to, but they don't really give you experience or points or anything. I think they could have made that, you know. They could have just like, oh, you're gonna use magic on this little globe? 2 XP for you, you know. <laughs> but no, you just kind of do it because you want to or you don't. So let's talk to... Lenora now? Oh, hello. She's awfully regal, isn't she? Is that your owl? I don't know who she is. Likely one of the Hufflepuffs around here. Owls choose their own company anyway. Wait, you're the new fifth year. Quite the dramatic entrance you made. Can't imagine wanting to call attention to yourself. Especially since everyone will be watching to see how much you already know. Um, excuse me? I didn't try to call attention to myself. It just happens. You know? I do have a lot to catch up on. I'm not worried. Yeah, we're gonna play the, the confident one. I'm not worried, okay? I'm really not worried. I'm sure I'll be fine. Nevertheless, it is rather unusual. You must feel terribly... out of place. Of course. Presumably, as a hard-working Hufflepuff, you'll prove yourself in no time. I'm hard-working too, as you might suspect. But sometimes I think I should have been a Ravenclaw. I've rather a searing wit. <laughs> At least people have always told me so. I'm Lenora, by the way. Lenora Everly. Well, mustn't keep you. You've such a lot to do. It was nice meeting you, okay? You think you should have been a Ravenclaw? Yeah, no, I'm just gonna say bye. It was nice meeting you, Lenora. Of course, adieu. Uh, I don't know if she was being nice or being sort of... Um, I don't know. Like, you must be feeling terribly out of place. I don't know if that was like, you know... Mm, you don't belong here. Or if it was more like a... Empathy thing. Oh, it must be difficult for you. <laughs> you know, that kind of stuff. But, let me just keep exploring, because this is the main objective here. We have paintings that move, which is pretty cool in my opinion. I'm glad they didn't oversee that detail. Hello, Chan. Hello, Chan. You know, man, I didn't think I'd make it. <laughs> well, you did. You make it, and you're here. Welcome. This house is so beautiful. It is. I, 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 I'm feeling quite jealous actually. Because the Ravenclaw one is quite beautiful. But this thing here is just, it's just a, on another level of cozy. All the plants and this Hobbit aesthetic. It just won, won my heart, you know. I, I'm feeling like changing now, <laughs> but I won't. I won't. And here's the fireplace. Beautiful fireplace. She was being nice and mean at the same time. Yeah, that's the thing. Isn't it, Lillian? She, she gave me, she gave me, you know, kind of mixed vibes. Father's got you. It's all right. My aunt says I should get to Hogsmeade as often as I can. Says it's good to get out of the castle sometimes. Oh, okay. Don't that's. Frightened, little cat. Let's talk to you. this. All right. To Arthur, he's trying to rescue a little cat. Okay. Let's talk to him. You don't need to be frightened, uh, I can't quite reach. Uh, Come on, you went that way. Hope they can catch him. 
big castle for a student to get lost in, let alone a cat. <laughs> I'm sure you'll find your way, all right? I mean, it can be a bit overwhelming at first. I still get lost sometimes. <laughs> Welcome to Hufflepuff, by the way. Really glad to have you in our house. I'm Arthur. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Was that your cat? No, one of the first years, I think. Don't have any pets of my own, unfortunately. My mother doesn't think too highly of them, especially magical ones. Oh, God. Uh, by the way, what a different voice. Uh, what a voice acting. I never heard something like that. It's very, it's very nerdy. Not being, you know, not, not saying anything against him. I think he, he sounds like the, the friendliest of the three so far. Um, let's see here. Shame. I think magical beasts are incredible. I tend to agree with your mother. No. Magical beasts are incredible, my friend. I'm sorry to hear that. I think magical beasts are rather incredible. Best thing about coming to Hogwarts. Nifflers, Glumbumbles, Bowtruckles. I thought they were only pictures in books before. Well, Dad did bring home a puff scheme once. Mum was furious. <laughs> anyway, I better go make sure the first years caught that cat. Don't want them to be late on their first day. Okay. Um, good luck, Arte. Uh... Nice meeting you, Arthur. And good luck finding that cat. Thank you. Try not to get lost in the castle yourself. Okay. He he sounds nerdy. But but he also sounds like he's like a very very old character, which confused me a bit. You know, he sounds like a very old, um, eccentric character voice, but higher pitch, so feels younger. For both student just walking by, okay. Let's have a look here on the back because we haven't yet. Our mission is outside there. Um, we have to meet the the headmaster. No, no, it's not the headmaster, but it's the the second in command. How do you call her? She's a Weasley, by the way, if you haven't seen the Ravenclaw, Ravenclaw gameplay. Uh -huh. She has sort of uh, kind of a common area here just to sit down and talk and eat stuff. Let me eat something. That looks delicious. What is that? Is it sweet or candy? I don't know. They are practicing spells, you see. Could I, can I sit? Can I sit here somewhere? Uh, I don't, I don't know if we can sit. Unfortunately. And all of these must be more bedrooms. Uh, wait, what? What's this? This is different. Oh, but it is a bedroom. Okay, it just has a little... A little corridor to get in. Okay. See, we have something here. Nothing specific. No. But there are all sorts of little details like these Quidditch posters. And you see some some Quidditch teams names, you know, all of that. Let me just go back there. Yeah, um, what's the thing with the Weasleys at this game? Is it their ancestors? Okay, so what I think is... Yeah, it's just from the, the Weasley family, you know, way before any of the ones we know. From Molly, Arthur, and the Weasley children. But she gives me such strong Molly Weasley vibes, you know. 
you're gonna see it now. She's very, very nice and sweet. Um, and I'm just gonna talk to her now a bit. We're gonna walk out of the common room. And for the first time, you're gonna see a bit of Hogwarts. The corridors and everything. So, funny fact, our common room entrance is a giant barrow, as you might know from the books. And Good here we go. I trust you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts. I've been dreaming of this day for a long time. Can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. Now, in light of your unique situation, joining us as a fifth year, You'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. OWLs? Owls? Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exams. They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. After much discussion with the headmaster and the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, we've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. Here you are. And I get a book, okay. Okay, just normal wizard stuff. It is a wizard's field guide. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. You would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. Thank you, Professor, but what do you mean it will keep track of what I'm learning? Perhaps seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. Walk with me and we shall put it to the test. Okay. So they are watching me. Damn it. I can't, I can't mess up my lessons or anything. <laughs> this way. Okay, just, just a bit. Um, so did you see? Um, is the entrance, the barrel. It slowly opens, you see. Closed, and then... There it is. Your gameplay is so relaxing. Okay, thank you. I hope it's being relaxing. And I hope the quality stops dropping, for the love of God. Um, really glad to see that the barrel was featured here, yes. Um, they are being very true to the, to the law in most of times. This book thing she gave me, kind of like a super tablet for students. <laughs> this is something new, never heard of it. But it works for the gameplay, you know. So we are just in the kitchen. The guide will give you opportunities to practice your magic and educate yourself about wizarding law. Okay. We are sort of in the, in the kitchen area. There's paintings about food. I would have appreciated something like the field guide when I was a student. Using the guide will also train you to be alert to your surroundings. Do keep up. Okay. So the guy kind of works like a super mega extreme Marauders map that doesn't only show me the way to classes and everything but to a bunch of other stuff. Oh, and I can't walk too far away from Mrs. Weasley. Okay. Wait, the cool thing is you can visit other common rooms like I imagined. If you have a partner from another house, you can't get in. you can get, wait, you can't or you can get into the common room. Yeah, I, do, I didn't know about that, so being a Hufflepuff, can I visit the other common rooms? I thought I would need to, to make a gameplay for, for each of the houses so I could explore. <laughs> but oh, anyway, this is, this is cool as well, I like playing with different characters from different houses. Simply cast Revelio on it and we'll see what the guide says. Oh, okay, so let's use Revelio here to find out. 
A field guide page. Correct. A house elf recipe book. Rumored to contain some of Helga Hufflepuff's original creations. This book holds a collection of Hogwarts students' favorite recipes over the centuries. Some dishes like pickled, dirigible plums are likely an acquired taste. Okay, it's starting to make me hungry. Um, you've just unlocked a few guide page. Uh, chat. Oh no, wait. A few guide challenge. Your progress towards completing challenges appear here. Collect field guide pages in Hogwarts. Okay. And then, ah, it's going to explain me the whole, the whole thing here. I already don't know all of this, so it's going to be a bit quick about it. Um, here you go. Clever, isn't it? Keep your eyes open for more opportunities like that, inside and outside of the castle. Okay. The Weasleys certainly look like they had a big reputation since the 19th century. Yeah, I mean, they've they've always been, um, like one of those families which has a very strong magical blood, isn't it? Like the, the black and that kind of stuff, like they come from a very, uh, sort of pure blood family tree, I think. Um, Perfect opportunity to show you how to use flu flames to get around a bit quicker. Your field guide contains a map of the castle. Open it up and find Central Hall. Okay, so... So this is the flu powder. It works like a fast travel thing. Here we have a... A cute little map of Hogwarts. We can then select the area we are here. And the green flames represent places I've discovered. Okay. The right side of the map is where you'll find academic points of interest, including including the astronomy tower, the library and the greenhouses. Select the library annex region to continue. So here's the library and she wants us to travel to the central hall of the castle okay so we're gonna travel that by flu powder and here we are quite the time saver these stairs lead directly to central hall okay. you can get almost anywhere in the castle quickly from central hall okay hold up hold on a bit Let's show everyone what's going on. Oh, here's a painting. A guy playing a very, very old guitar. <laughs> How's it called? Some of you must know. And here's a flu powder thing. I've so... Said that travel broadens the mind. Who said that? Oh, okay. It's actually the statue that speaks to us okay uh, so you have to explore Hogwarts on foot first to find all of the flu powder spots so that you can travel quickly later on so let me have a look around here I'm joining Ravenclaw as my main house I was going to join Hufflepuff, but the upstairs is only access to girls, and not being a girl, I actually like the Ravenclaw house. I was going between the two rooms. Okay. Now, that is a book I like to read. <laughs> That's a book I like to read myself. Yes, Jen. <laughs> Let me have a look from up here. You're gonna notice that Hogwarts looks very, very different, but in a sort of extraordinary 
most beautiful way, it's it's completely different. There are some places which, oh sorry, some places which remind us of the the movies, for example, and the old video games, but it has so much new things, and the style is so different with the the granite, uh, the marble. And it looks, it, it's just, I, I was just walking around here, completely blown away. I was just admire everything. And it has such amazing gothic here. architecture. The heart of the hive, our King's Cross Station, so to speak. Okay. So, yes, this, this area is brighter. It has this sort of white marble look. But there are other parts which are darker and have like really incredible gothic castle vibes. You're going to see it. Let's just go here and That should be all for now. You'll be expected to attend both Charms and Defense Against the Dark Arts classes today. And I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. Um, okay. What's Hogsmeade? <laughs> we know that. We know what Hog Hogsmeade is. And we also know what Defense Against the Dark Arts are. Okay. Thank you, Professor. Thank you, Professor Weasley. A lot to absorb on your first day. And you have much to learn. Happily, your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside of class. You'll be up to speed in no time. Judging by your adept use of Revelio earlier, I'd say Professor Fix succeeded in at least showing you the basics. He did, Professor. He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival, specifically about what happened after that awful dragon attack. My suspicion is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. Um, I cannot say that you are right or that you are wrong in fact i can't say anything i promised professor fake so my friend there isn't i'm sorry professor but i'm afraid that's all there is to it hmm. almost precisely what professor fig said yes <laughs> and there he is professor fig your ears must have been burning oh yes you seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Ah, I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare aptitude for magic, it seems. Hmm. Well, I'm just glad you both arrived in one piece. Perfectly good boats and carriages to Hogwarts, and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon. I wouldn't say I chose the dragon's path, Professor. Rather unfortunately, it would seem that it chose us. Very well. Enough chit-chat. I need to get to class myself. Might I rely on you, Professor Fig, to explain the details of the field guide's map? Of course. Of course. Of course. Okay, so that's the guy we started Good the game today. with. In and case you didn't know. Use your field guide. It will be invaluable to you. And invaluable to me. As I'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress. Yes, Professor. Come and find me in my classroom after you've attended both classes today, and I'll explain more about those assignments I mentioned. And we'll see if we can't get you to Hogsmeade for those supplies. Alright. So, Professor Fig here is the, the guy that brought us to Hogwarts, and that was teaching us a bit of magic, you know, a few basic spells before we started our school year here so that we wouldn't be completely lost on everything so before I talk to him let me just show you a bit here the central hall oh and there's a flying page you can collect those later on but I haven't learned the spell yet in here so I think that has something to do with herbology. I'm not sure. I love like it has vines. 
and plant over it. Oh. You see the door kind of turns into vines like a tree. I think all of these designs are very, very clever, which they did in the game. And I absolutely love how everything looks. It's it's extremely realistic sometimes. It's if I can say this, if it's not heresy, <laughs> um it looks even much, much more realistic than Hogwarts in the movies. And I'm sorry, I can't walk very far away right now. Because I need to stay in the main mission here. Just for the time being. But look at all of the details of these, these wood parts here. It even has some Latin written there. Doctrina Perpetua. Doctri Doctrina Perpetua. Perpetuous Doctrine? Um, something like that. Docendo Decimus. And the main Hogwarts. Draco, Dra Draco Dormiens. Nunum Titulandus. Okay. You see how many details? I haven't... I didn't even notice that before. Scientia sit potentia. Science and potential or something? Per angusta at augusta. And the floor as well. I mean, they're everywhere you look here. There's a detail for you to get lost admiring. Even the fountain itself. It's mermaids. Goblins. A unicorn and a werewolf. Oh, wait a second. There's something moving there. Oh my god, look at that. I didn't see that. The dragon carved in the stone is moving. I didn't. I didn't see that before. Noticing it just now. Okay, let me talk to Professor Fig, so that we can be free to look around. It's good to see you, Professor. And you. I was hoping our paths would cross today, before you immersed yourself in studies. Did I hear you masterfully evade Professor Weasley's interrogation regarding our late arrival? Um, yes, you did, but I I didn't like to like to, to lie to her. She's pretty nice. I did try to evade her questions, though I feel a little deceptive. That said, I'm fairly certain she suspects we're not being entirely forthcoming. Yes, well, Professor Weasley is a brilliant and astute witch. It was right to keep the details to yourself for now. We don't know where this path we've embarked upon will lead. It may require a bit more flexibility with your time than she would approve of. And she may feel obliged to share details with the headmaster that would be better left between us. Understood, Professor. Good. Now, as capable as you are, I believe the ability you possess obliges you to be well-trained. Happily, you have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of witches and wizards to guide you. Speaking of guides, and so that I may avoid another not-so-subtle reproof from Professor Weasley, why don't I show you the clever enchantment we included in the field guide's map? Unfold it and have a look. Okay, let's see. Um, open the map. Okay. What is this? Continue. Tag quest to continue. Defense against the dark arts class. And charms class. Okay. We can just track it. Okay. The map is enchanted to help you find your way. 
This will be incredibly helpful. Thank you. Now, sounds like you've quite a day ahead, what with classes and a trip to Hogsmeade for supplies, including your own wand. You'll enjoy Mr. Ollivander. He's an exceptional craftsman and a good friend. I shall reach out when I have more information about our mysterious locket. For now, focus on your classes and pay attention. More than your owls may hinge on the magic you are able to master within these walls. Okay. So, quest complete. Welcome to Hogwarts. Cast the Charmed Compass. So this is pretty nice. I like how how he looks. Look, take a look at this. You just kind of open your book, and a page goes flying away to show you the the direction to where you want to go. So it's kind of like a it's kind of like the Marauders map, but it leads the way. Not with footprints in the ground, like in the previous games, but with flying pages. By the way, I am reading everything that you are talking on the chat, okay? I'm not answering so much, I'm sorry. Because I'm trying to, you know, not talk over the cutscenes <laughs> so that you can enjoy it. And then I'm just trying to explore everything as much as possible and talk you through it oh as I suspected it is a greenhouse area it seems that as a Hufflepuff I found my way pretty quickly over here <laughs> okay so yeah it makes sense you see I like how they adapted they didn't they didn't want to make it a hundred percent realistic they try to stylize things a bit so i like how the the greenhouse door here is all full of foliage and has all of this different design to it you know okay so um i'm gonna be honest it's pretty useful that we have this thing here because if you play this game yourself, you're gonna find out that it's pretty easy to get lost in here. Because there is really so, so much corridors and places to go. It's ridiculous, I don't even know how they managed to do all of this. And all of it is new. Let's see what we have here. a little statue of an owl. Let me interact with that. And we found a secret room here. Okay. With a chest. And I found a teal, teal Chinese fireball scarf. Okay. So this is the thing we, uh, we keep finding here. It's like objects to wear which increase certain things. Let me just show you here very quickly on the gear. We found a, a neckwear, so we can select it over here and just wear it like that, you see? And Another curious thing, this was my little sister. My little sister figured this out before me and she told me. You can come in here if you don't like how it uh how it looks, but you like the special thing it offers, like in here, a fence two points more. Sometimes it's like the the fence, the your attack spells, that kind of stuff. And you wanna keep that sort of magical ability, but you don't want it to show up, you can change appearance pressing square and you, you can actually choose the appearance of another thing another item or just choose to not have it at all like this so it's pretty awesome you can also change a few things here already you can like not be wearing a cloak which looks nice but I do like the cloak <laughs> and 
This is a cloak I've got from the Deluxe Edition. It's a Dark Arts cloak. Uh, I don't like it. And this is just the, the normal one. So, yeah. You can change up your character a bit as you go finding out new clothes and that kind of stuff. You can also buy them in Hogsmeade. Which I don't think we're going to visit on this live stream. But yeah. AJ Draws. It's such a big world with such intricate detail. Yes. And thank you so much for your for your super chat, your donation. Thank you. I hope you are all enjoying and I hope the quality is good. I swear I've adjusted as best as I can. But every now and then it still drops a bit. But that's why I'm trying to walk very, very slowly so that it has time to get better, you know, if the quality drops. And you can literally just walk through everywhere. Not this, uh, it's locked. And we did, we do le uh, need to learn Alohomora for that. But what I love the most about exploring here is that you don't need to wait for things to load up, you know? Like, if there's something here, I can just walk through it and I have no idea where I'm going to. <laughs> Let's have a quick look around here. Oh. Alright. It's a library. Is it the main library? We gotta be very quiet in here. I was not expecting to find the library in here. It looks absolutely gorgeous. And we have some... We have some ghosts dancing in here. Don't think I have ever seen this before in any other Harry Potter game. Okay, I'm just being very quiet because it's a library, you know how it is. But inside, I'm just, I'm just screaming of excitement. Such a beautiful place, my god. I love libraries even though I can't tell you that I read that much, but I do, I do love books for some reason, <laughs> there's just a feeling about them, you know? And here are some students doing some reading work. Okay. We are not going to disturb them. Maybe a little bit. Will anyone be mad at me if I do a Lumos here? Lumos. No? No? Are you mad? No. No one is mad. Okay, wonderful. No one cares. And here we have a tapestry of a wizard reading things and writing. Okay. I'm just completely lost here, exploring things. <laughs> um, it's exactly what I said I would do. I would just lose, not lose, I would actually enjoy a hundred hours just looking around everything. Oh, and there's a flu powder thing here. Okay. Now we can fast travel here if we want to. Wonderful. Off on another adventure, are we? You can bet. <laughs> so the statue talks to us, which is nice. It's the creator of the flu powder. The witch that invented it. And she talks to you. Whenever you go try use the flu powder. Are we moving to the to the restricted section? I think we are, but we don't know Alohomora yet, so we're just gonna have a look from far. 
unfortunately. Do you think we can find one of those books that shouts at your face like it wants to kill you? <laughs> Perhaps. I just... I have no words. I don't even think I need to say anything. You are seeing this with your own eyes. And it's just so freaking pleasing to look at everything. And I found some money in a chest in the library. Because why not? Oh, let me do a reveal you here. Reveal you. Anything? Oh, there's a chest in there. But it's in the restricted section, okay? Gonna have to come back here once I learn how to use Alohomora so I can just rob everything. Okay, I should be walking towards the defense against the dark arts, but I I can't help myself. I need to go up the the spiral staircase. It's one of my obsessions. <laughs> spiral staircases. Just go up here and then look down. Okay. Chan, I like how you're already testing which behaviors actions will trigger a reaction. Yeah. I always love finding ways of annoying the the characters in game. The NPCs, as you say. Um, but I haven't found many on this one. I found out a few bugs which are really, really, like, funny. I'm gonna try and share them with you in the... in my second channel. By the way, if you are watching this and you... and you want to see more and more of Hogwarts Legacy, uh, subscribe to my Dreamwalker channel, okay? My second channel. You can find the link in the description and in my main YouTube page. And on my second channel, I will share the funny bits, you know? As for now, I'll just try to keep it relaxing and soft-spoken here on this channel. And more of an exploration thing. But yeah. Subscribe to, to the Dreamwalker one. So that you can f see all of the funny bugs. All the things. <laughs> that I find around here. Which are funny. Oh. There's a little chest in here. Okay. Good. Does he have money for me? No, but he has a jumper. A jumper. Can I wear that? Let's have a look on the jumper very quickly. I I I did not find a jumper before. Oh, I can't. Let me let me remove the cloak very quickly. And. Yeah, okay, no, I prefer the way I was looking before, okay? So, but this gives me two points in defense. So, I'm just going to change the look of it to this. Oh, wait, I have another slightly different style. And which one is better? I think I like this one because it has black socks. They don't stand out so much as the white ones. Here I am, talking about wizard fashion. <laughs> uh, okay. As if I understand anything. Okay. So let's just... Walk our way... Back downstairs. It's a very large library, 
and I love it. It looks like a... If I'm not, if I'm not mistaken, this looks like a real library that exists. I know it because I've seen the photos and it looks a lot like that, so it's very realistic. But it has a more gothic style to it, which they added. Okay, so let's go and what are you t carrying there? Yeah, let's try to do something. <laughs> you see, it, it it's not the best reaction actually. He just kind of bugs a bit the things he has on his hands. Um, yes, as AJ just said, sadly the MPCs don't react much to anything. Just some classmates and quest givers. Yeah, um, but I mean, it's not a big deal. I mean, it's very immersive. They are always walking, doing things, and all of that is done perfectly. They talk to each other, they practice spells and all that sort of thing. They drink tea, and we can drink tea as well. <laughs> but if you throw a spell at them or something, they don't get, you know, hit or anything. I guess it's just to not break the immersion so much. He kind of does something, you see. He kind of reacts like something happened, but not that much. But I don't, I don't feel like it's much of a problem. I like it this way. Imagine if they were just uh, rag dolls, as it usually is in some games, and you just throw a spell at them, and just they just go flying. Hitting all of the walls, <laughs> wiggling like a crazy thing. <laughs> Let's go up here again to the central area. There you see someone carrying books and books flying up them. Oh, I found a page here. The Central Hall Fountain. This ornate fountain features intric intricately carved statues of denizens? Denizens of the magical world. Is that how I say it? Denizens? Including a set of stone sirens encircling the fountain's base. Yes, I've noticed that. Okay, so it's it's been an hour already. I have to go dinner soon, everyone. <laughs> so let me just have one walk outside. I believe this door leads to the outside. Um, so that you can have a look. Okay, let's just open it. And okay. It's pretty dark, but it's because it's a like a specific time of the day or a specific weather. I've I've seen this um, with a, s a full sunshine, and it looks pretty awesome. But I also like the moody moodiness of some of these scenes. Very foggy. I just found another page. This fountain in the Transfiguration Courtyard has a likeness of a wyvern on top and serves as a relaxing place for students to gather. Despite rumours that the, the contrary, possibly started by Sir Cadogan, um, this is most assuredly not meant to be the wyvern of wyvern, how do you say wyvern of why? Slain by the likely knight in despite of himself. Okay. I'm probably reading some things wrong, okay, because... As in the Harry Potter books, they are abusing some very complex English words in here. <laughs> okay. 
Um, wait, that's a question. Is there no soundtrack in the background, or is it turned off in the settings? No, uh, there is soundtrack in many moments. Right here, outside now, there isn't any. But there was. I just have the volume very low, I think. Probably. Uh, everyone said it's fine, but like, if you want the, the video game sound to be louder, let me know. I just don't want the spells to be very loud, you know, like... I think this is... This is a good volume. You see they're talking about transfiguration and everything. And I just love here... That this actually reminds us of the transfiguration courtyard. They have the tree, like in Goblet of Fire where Malfoy is sitting but at the same time everything is so different because look at the scale look at the scale of Hogwarts everything is so tall and epic so this is what I was talking about like you have some parts parts of the castle which you will recognize but even then they are quite different. Oh, Chan, good night to you. Okay, my friend, um, stay well. Uh, stay well. I hope to see you soon. And yeah, <laughs> continuing. It would be awesome if they turned this game into a MMO so we could all play together and interact. Yes, I mean, if we could like, in a sort of multiplayer way, just join here together, like with a friend, and just explore things, do quests together, that would be brilliant, I think. But I don't think it's going to happen on this game. But it has been such a success on sales, that they might be already even thinking about doing another one, perhaps? They might be thinking... And they could do, they could do a second game which has multiplayer. But I think that's a few years away. Um, obviously. It's going to take a few years. They're probably going to work on DLCs. With more stories and quests for us, for us to do. In this game. But maybe in like four years or something we get another game i don't know and we have entered the dark arts tower and isn't this a beauty look at the blue ceiling i love it and the rest is sort of granite is that how i say it in english granite in port in portuguese is granito so yeah, just look at everything. It gets inspirations from all sorts of real architecture, I think. There was a gargoyle talking. Was it this gargoyle? I didn't see it moving. Well, let's look at the painting here. There's a Death Eater in there. Or is it just a dark wizard in general? Because it looks just like the Death Eaters in the Goblet of Fire. Oh, and there's something here. There we go. Painting of Elias? Elias? Is that how I say it? Or Elius? This painting depicts the young orphan wizard Elias, or Elias, who famously saved his entire village from an army of Dementors and the dark wizard Rack Raxidian. I've never heard that word before. <laughs> I've never heard it. By conjuring a mouse Patronus. So this is something really interesting as well. We get all of these little 
Adam's now a teacher herself. No wonder she's not gobbled up by her own fanged geranium. Who's saying that? <laughs> Someone is talking. <clears throat> but yeah, we get all of this little history. Magical history facts. I really want to figure out who's saying that. Is it one of you? Oh. I think it's you, isn't it? You blinked. Okay, it was this one. <laughs> Shut up now. I'm trying to talk, okay? Um... Link fan, I wish this was offered for the Switch, I don't have a PS5. It is offered for the Switch, my friend. But it's just going to take quite a while. Um, I think it's only in June or July, which is really, really sad. Um, PS4 as well needs to wait another two months. Um, but yeah. Over here is very empty. Could have a few more benches or something. But okay. Let's go upstairs. Starfish. Wait. Does he speak Portuguese? Me? Are you asking me? I do speak Portuguese. Someone said Marcelo. Portuguese brazuca. <laughs> brazuca. Yes. Português do Brasil. Olá. Olá, brasileiros. Se tem alguém aqui. Brasileiros e portugueses. Que falam português. <laughs> Bem-vindos, espero que estejam aproveitando as belas paisagens do castelo. <risos> eu não sei porque eu começo a falar esquisito português quando eu, quando eu paro de falar inglês numa live stream. Well, let's continue. I guess the people who don't understand that are questioning what the heck am I talking about. <risos> But nothing, I'm just welcoming the people that speak Portuguese. As myself. And we have some... This area looks like a museum. Rebellia. Is there something here? I hear the noise, but I'm not seeing anything. Not here, at least. Yeah, sometimes, every time you see something like, different like this skeleton here, you can use Revelio to see if there's one of those guide pages so that it tells you what this thing is, you know? And I am just absolutely blown away by all of the architecture It's probably the most detailed thing I've ever seen in a video game, actually. It's incredibly detailed. And incredibly realistic sometimes. Anything here in the corner? Uh, it's like a clock thing? But I can't interact with it. I don't know if I need to know a spell or something. If I do, I haven't learned any magic properly yet. This is what we are going to do in the defense against the dark arts. And in the charms classroom. But I must say goodbye to you very soon, okay? I'm just gonna walk here. Over to the classrooms so that you can have a look. But I'm not going to start the, the quest, okay? The mission. Because it's a bit long. Uh, there's a bunch of cutscenes everywhere. Can I just open the door? Oh, I cannot. Not this one. You And I've... Imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. I found out another flu powder spot in here. Let's just have a look around. Lots of paintings. Most of them move. Some don't. But you can see that. She's moving. Slightly. But she is. I promise. I saw her. Oh, there you are. You see? 
She moves a bit and then stands still. Starfish, yes, I am Brazilian. <laughs> que bom, que bom que você está aqui. Tea time? Oh, let's have tea. Let's have tea with our friend here. Don't even know who you are, but you are a Hufflepuff, so let's have tea together. The funny thing is that these are actually students that you can see in your common room. They're not completely random. Like... Look at these three here. That Gryffindor is actually a Gryffindor student. And this Slytherin here as well. We go to a bunch of missions with him. I did some of the, the... I did lots of missions already. In my Ravenclaw playthrough. You're gonna see it soon. And that's what I found out. The students are can actually all be found inside their common rooms and then you can find them in the castle walking around, going to classes and it's not like a bunch of random NPCs, you know many of them are actual students, you know with a name and kind of missions that you see them or interact with them throughout the story so that's pretty nice Link fan, this is definitely an improvement from the PS1 Harry Potter game. <laughs> yes, quite the improvement, although those games do have a nostalgic uh, spot in my heart, I have to say. And this wish here seems to having the time of her life getting burnt. Um, I think I've read something about this in a wizard card once. Something about her just feeling a tingly sensation when getting burned <laughs> in fires. Oh, wait a minute. There's an orchestra that plays itself. Now that's something interesting that I've never seen before. Not even in the movies. I love all of the little details like that. Sometimes, the other time I was playing this, right here where the orchestra is playing, um, those ghosts which were dancing in the library, they were dancing in here, you know? So, it was very nice, they were dancing to the music. And here we have something to explain to us what that skeleton is. Our grey skeleton. This is a skeleton of an Irish phoenix or augury. An intensely shy bird who can forecast the coming of rain and whose mournful cry was once believed to foretell death. Okay. A different sort of phoenix, okay. So, I said I was going to go away <laughs> um, soon, and I have to do that, I am sorry. But we did quite a bit of exploration here today, haven't we? Let me just go downstairs here to say goodbye to all of you. I actually don't know if downstairs is where I want to go, but I'm going there. <laughs> um. What really f let's let's see something from intelligent meditations. What really always fascinates me is that uh, as humanity we can totally build such architecture and such ar artistry. So we see here could really we could really have the skills and imaginations to do. I mean, I'm with you on that one. I don't know how, I don't know how architecture went from these beautiful things to modern buildings well I do know we are just very lazy <laughs> we are all just lazy 
but honestly, I wouldn't mind if the architecture style nowadays was still gothic. <laughs> um, gothic would be fine for me. I would love to live in a gothic sort of house. Um, imagine it. Manage, imagine if we could go to school like this. I mean, all the fancy people, <laughs> the fancy people, all the smart people that go to Oxford, Cambridge, that kind of stuff, they still get to experience this. Um, sometimes I'm very jealous. I wish I would do like a, like a sort of Oxford course, just, just so that I could be there. And Oh, wait, the weather is changing. Did you see it? The sun was shining a bit brighter now got a bit warmer in here so yeah but I don't think I'm going to Oxford anytime soon maybe on a tourist sort of guided visit someday I would love that and yeah but enough um, chatting today <laughs> and exploring. I do hope, my friends, that you enjoyed this. I hope it was a nice experience for today. Uh, and I hope to see you very soon on the other live streams, okay? I'm going to do many of these in the next days, the next weeks, the next months, probably. So I guess I'll see you very soon, okay? Um, so, stay well, everyone, and goodbye for now. Goodbye.